so we're not at a dirt track, obviously. Uh, we're at another drag strip, so we're actually at the strip in Las Vegas. Uh, and I'm getting a chance to drive Leah's top fuel car. So the second part that's really cool is my father turned 83 years old on Easter Sunday. So I had called him a couple weeks before that and said, hey, what are you doing this day, this day, and this day? And he's like, I don't have anything. I said, all right, here's the deal. I'm taking you on a road trip, but you can't ask any questions. I said, just pack warm clothes. Had no idea when we pulled in the racetrack today what we were doing here until he saw Leah's trailer and still didn't know till we were sitting in the rental car, shut the rental car off, and I said, hey, by the way, I'm driving that thing today. And the expression on his face was priceless. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Let's go. Hey, no questions. Get your ass in the car. Let's go. How are we doing? Good. Yeah. Good to see that. <laughs> look, look in the back. <laughs> Leah, play. Do you have Do you have that little John song on your phone? Banjos. He goes. The name for the brand of jeans back there was True Religion. They've only been out for probably, I don't know how many years, 10 years. <laughs> We're gonna go right by the track today. Yeah, I've been here. Have you seen the dirt track here? Let's see if we can sneak around to it. You think we'll get in trouble for going in there? Leah, are you out here playing games today? So maybe we're not really going anywhere else today. This is where we're going to be all day. It's fine with me. Because I'm going to drive that today. You are? Yeah. Which car is that? Is that the same thing she's driving? That's her car. That's her car. You're going to drive that? I'm going to drive that. <laughs> So uh, this is a huge, massive step beyond running Frank's car at Bradenton at Frank Holly's driving school. But uh, this, everybody wants to know, why am I doing this? Why am I working at this? Uh, this was something that Don Schumacher from DSR met me and, and said, hey, we'll put you in a car and take you to a test session when we're doing our preseason testing and you can go 300 miles an hour. You know, Don was behind it again, got all excited, and uh, so we put it all together, got all the logistics done, and uh, here we are. So, because I need more room in this one, I'm a little, a little much. I'll put a little in here. Fun fact, Nitro is the heaviest fuel. I noticed. It's like one point, it's 10.3 pounds a gallon, where like gasoline is like 8.7. Right. That's two, each line is worth a tenth. So this should be, this should make that 90.0898. Now I know why I could get it off, why it takes so much more of that to get it back. We've got our signs in this class. I don't know if you've looked at the racetrack. Yeah, we're getting ready to go up and finish, finish this fuel. So we've got these, they're, they're light plastic sign on a PVC frame. And they're set at 200 feet, 600 feet, 1,000 on the finish line. We got them numbered one, two, three, and four. I asked Todd if you guys were okay running with them on the track. He said he's okay. I want you to look at it and see if you're okay. okay. If you want them off, we'll take them off. Okay. Uh, you see how there's like a little caddy, like a, to a, little, a little to the bag. left. Yeah. That goes like that. Yep. Knowing, let's just say, that that point right to the left of it in that shiny spot, that's where I'm going to need to be. When you were backing up from the burnout with Frank, you were backing up on your own. In yeah. Your own. And lining myself up. So Scott is going to, his hand motions are these. And all that means is just a small, make a small move and then go straight. And straighten it back up. You'll give me that. 
if I, if I haven't started doing it. Sure. But give me a second to see if I catch it. Yep. If I haven't started catching it, you'll do that, and then you'll tell me to go. Get it in reverse, wait on him. He'll motion me back. Pull the feather out of the clutch, get out of the clutch, get it going. A movement and then straighten it out, movement, straighten out, either way. Um, when he tells me to stop, don't just slam on the brake, but stop it so we don't roll back in the water. Let off the brake, it shouldn't move. At that point, you will shut your visor. Yeah, that'll be important too. Ease out of the clutch enough to get it rolling, and once I know that it's rolling, get off, get the clutch back in, and wait till I get to the pre stage beam and then stop. Pray to the gods <laughs> that I don't die before I get married. Cool for me to get a chance to drive the car finally and, and I'm sure thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that drag race would love to have this opportunity. So I feel very fortunate. Took everything at Frank Holly's very serious and I didn't think I was ready to even come do something like this yet, but because I've had a blast so far, haven't made it down to the end yet, but that's the goal is to get down to the, the end of the thousand feet by the end of this and uh, make full poles. So we'll see what happens, but we're working our way into it and it is definitely it is definitely an e-ticket that uh, there is no price tag that, that you know, there's nothing you're going to do on the Vegas Strip that's going to give you the thrill of driving this thing. So uh, we're having a great time. I'm going to speak completely out of terms, but I mean, it's sweet. For too much fuel. Mm -hmm. 